Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, and show you something about FFmpeg. Now I use FFmpeg uh, quite a lot in case you follow my channel. I think you know it already that I love FFmpeg and I use it for uh, doing a lot of things. In fact, quite a lot of things. I'm right now making this video using uh, nothing but FFmpeg. Now, th the thing that I wanted to talk about today is uh, basically uh, how to create image slideshow using uh, nothing but, you guessed it, FFmpeg. Now, let me show you um, the images that I'm, that I'm talking about. So, I recently, or in fact, uh, last year, earlier last year, I started doing uh, or experiment, I experimented with uh, live streaming. And uh, what I was doing, I was basically live streaming uh, this image or in fact, couple of these images with uh, some dynamic text on the screen. Uh, at the same time, there, there was a visualizer, visualizer. Let me show you. Let me show you that particular live stream, how it looks like. And I'll probably go to one of my uh, channel where I believe the live stream is still happening. So if you go to my Ravi Sagar channel, where I talk about uh, Jira, <laughs> there, there is a live stream which is uh, running for the past uh, three hours. And uh, this particular live stream, if you notice, is basically using uh, um, this video, which is playing. And if you notice, I, I'll probably go back slightly in the video so that you can see this uh, visualizer. And right now, so you can see hopefully this particular visualizer which is happening here, uh, this line, this straight line. And what this line is doing is, is it is basically a video which I generated using uh, FFmpeg. And this uh, video is uh, basically nothing but a couple of images going in loop with a fade effect. Now this particular uh, video uh, that I just showed you is made using these two images. And if I show you the second image, so this is the image number one. And if you look at this owl's eye and you know these bushes in the background, if I go to the next image, there is a slight change. So basically this is the image or these are the two images. And these two images are basically uh, shuffled or not really shuffled because we just have two images, but they, they, these two images are made or converted into a video file with a fade effect. Now using FFmpeg, you can actually do this very easily. If you go to this particular um, super user, is it super user or stack? Uh, yeah, this is super user website. You can see this example, this wonderful example where from where I copied this uh, uh, effect. So you can do fade, which is actually simpler to achieve, but there is something called as a cross fade as well. And that is what I wanted. So this particular example is uh, basically using uh, five images and I, and what I did, I, I basically copied the script and I converted it to um, two images only. And what you can also do, you can actually create a shell script uh, where you can actually run a script from within a folder and all the images in the folder will be then uh, converted to a slideshow. And you can also, if you want uh, attach or use a background audio. That is what I'm doing, by the way. But let us just focus on uh, a very simple thing, which is uh, doing uh, this uh, uh, merge of two images. So, and by the way, I have uh, covered this in the past as well. So when you use FFmpeg about, you have to basically provide uh, inputs. And then what you need to do with those inputs is up to you. Now, if you look at this particular uh, script, this particular script is basically nothing but FFMA command where the first input is my first image and uh, I'm specifying here loop because I want to, you know, make sure that uh, it stays, but only for five seconds. Then the second, the, the second input is again uh, my image number two and using filter complex, you can actually do a lot of wonderful things. I use filter complex uh, for almost everything because uh, this is something very convenient. So the way fil filter complex works is you have to specify the input, the number, the, in the input number, which is right now my image number two because, or my input number two, I mean this bracket one. 
and then in between the these two brackets so basically when you provide this input here then you have to specify what you want to do basically you want to do the fade effect and then uh, this particular line is basically for uh, cross fading and then you are generating this output which is f0 and it can be anything it's like a variable now i'm doing something similar with the first image and uh, i'm calling it as uh, f1 and then finally i am overlaying overlaying those two images and the way this overlay works is basically you will notice that there is a, a slight delay so it looks like uh, there is a fade or cross fade effect and finally you can uh, uh, you you can basically see this variable here called v this is the final video and then uh, you can um, uh, generate this uh, file which is right now in this case mp4 now you can also insert uh, third input which is or which could be your uh, audio and then you have to map your uh, uh, output to a as well for audio right now i'm not really doing any audio so this is the script and if i run the script in in a folder basically the script is already hard coded with uh, these two images but you can make it dynamic i mean you know how to do it right so basically if i run this run this uh, script so slideshow crossfade that is it no input it will ask me to override the file which i already have and it will then generate uh, this wonderful uh, video for uh, me to use wherever i want to and this is of course uh, uh, it, it can take some time it, it depends on uh, how much you're doing for example in my videos for especially my uh, live streaming video i have that uh, visualizer and it will take some time to render the image or the video with background image and also the visualizer. So that is something that I do. And by the way, if you're watching this video, I mean, right now, I'm sure there is a visualizer here somewhere, which is something which I'm doing uh, while this is getting recorded. I, I like doing it, it is fun. And you can also see that on the left corner here somewhere, there is a text called Ravi Sagar. So when you're doing live streaming, if you want you can also i mean i do that by the way you can also generate or change the content of your live stream like have some text um while the live stream is happening really cool thing right so now with another video is now done let us take a look at it and this is the video and i, I want to see the owl's image owl's eyes and yes it is uh, moving so it looks it is nothing it is not really too complicated or too fancy but it looks good i'm happy with the output and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today that you know use ffmpeg if you want to do wonderful things and you want to if you want to save time that is the most important part saving time at the same time it is fun and you learn you learn a lot and when you do these things to when you basically learn these things like ffmpeg org mode linux in general shell scripts and when you basically learn with the intention to solve your own problem and improve your workflow then you will become efficient and you can do a lot more and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye